Does all this new AI ever seem overwhelming to you? That it's moving so fast and that it's hard for you to keep up? And when it comes to prompting, do you ever wish you had a sidekick along the way to help guide you and teach you how to generate prompts and become a prompt engineer yourself? Well, guess what? This plugin is your new prompt sidekick guide. It will help you generate prompts with just a few clicks. And it's like magic. And it does it for so many categories. And today, I'm going to show you some of my favorites. Now, you're going to want to make sure you stick around for the whole video because this may just make your AI life a little bit easier. So this app is called Prompt Storm, and what it is is a Google Chrome extension. It's going to allow all sorts of magic to happen and help you create and generate your own prompts, thus becoming your own prompt generating engineer. You're going to have an index on the right hand side, and all it takes is just a few simple clicks and you'll have a prompt to generate just like that. All you have to do is simply sign up for Prompt Storm in the top right hand corner. It's completely free, and then download the Prompt Storm Google Chrome extension. So let's head over to ChatGPT and I'll show you exactly how to use it right now. So once we're over here in ChatGPT, notice over here on the right hand side, I have this little lightning bolt right here. That is Prompt Storm. Once you click to open it, you'll notice you'll have this tab open up on the right hand side. Now this becomes very cool. So you could see automatically you're going to have categories. You could select all these certain categories by selecting the drop down box or you can simply type in the search form and then type in something you're looking for. In this case, say you're looking for something for SEO. Once you type in SEO, check this out. All these subtopics related to SEO pop up and all you have to do is then click one and start generating and creating prompts just like that. So in this case, let's go back to categories and let's do it this way. So we have these main categories right here to choose from. Let's go ahead and go down to marketing. Okay. We're going to select the subcategory underneath marketing. We're going to go ahead and select SEO. Okay. Now check out how awesome this is. We can go ahead and select a type of prompt we're looking at. Now look at all these options over here on the right hand side. We'll make this very easy to start with. Now watch this. Let's just start with something simple like keyword generator. Okay. So then just give it the product details of what exactly you're looking for. So let's just say it's something simple like yoga mats. Okay. Now the next step is to choose the number of items. Let's just say we want 10 keyword ideas. Who's the audience? So in this case, I'll say yoga mats, give me 10. And then who is the audience? People in search of buying yoga mats. Now, once you have that done, you don't have to select anything. Notice down here in the bottom of the chat GPT search bar, it automatically puts that prompt in there. It says, my business sells yoga mats. Please create a list of 10 keywords. My target audience is people in search of buying yoga mats. So just with a few clicks of the button on the right hand side, it automatically enters that prompt in the chat GPT at the bottom. Now, now, all you want to do next is just hit send and boom, watch this magic happen. And so you can do this with so many variety of things, any topic, and you can even get more detailed instead of just yoga mats. You could say yoga mats in your city or your zip code or your state and really get specific and narrow down the keywords you're looking for. So back over here on ChatGPT, now you could see it quickly gave out 10 keywords based off of what I entered. So anything from buy yoga mats online to eco-friendly yoga mats, non-slip all the way down to yoga mats, free shipping. Pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and continue over here on the right hand side, staying within the SEO range. Let's now go ahead and go to long tail keyword generator. So you can see over here on the right hand side, I said long tail keyword generator product details are now yoga mats Houston locally and then audience similar people looking to buy yoga mats but this time in Houston Texas now the prompt at the bottom of my page now says this now it adds a little bit more of a long tail variation to it specifically targeting a local market in this case Houston pretty cool now once we've done that I'll go back over here to the search bar and then just simply typing in SEO you can just basically see the plethora of options we have for everything related to SEO so I won't show you all of these there are simply just too many really good options to show you one by one. So you could see from the first case, I just want to give you an SEO example, but moving on, check out these other cool things we could do. Now, one thing that's very popular and people find very effective is the capabilities of prompt storm to actually generate and create some AI art prompts in this case, mid journey prompts, but they can also be used for other apps like Leonardo AI or Adobe Firefly. So now let's go ahead and become a prompt generating machine to create some mid journey AI art prompts. So over here on the right hand side, here's what we do. You want to go to categories and we're going to go ahead and go ahead and select the first one art underneath subcategory. Then you're going to go ahead and go down to graphic design and digital art, select that. And once you have that opened up, you'll notice towards the bottom, you're going to have mid journey painting prompt ideas, mid journey 
photograph prompt ideas and then mid journey photograph prompt ideas too. So once you do this, you can actually now generate some very cool mid journey prompts. So let's just go ahead and select the one that says ideas number two. Now check this out automatically by selecting that look down here in my search bar and you can see automatically it automatically auto fills a pre-selected prompt right here pretty cool and so on the right hand side as i start to make my selections it will fill in the prompt details on the bottom of this screen i want 10 image prompts what do you want to create an image of tiger what keywords would you use to describe it and then i give it a few keywords just say powerful and large and then what type of camera so let me give you guys a little bit of a trick on what you can say when a prompt asks you for a type of camera or a camera lens or anything like that because honestly when it comes to even myself i'm really not sure what cameras take the best looking pictures under certain circumstances so here's what i do right here now there's a link in my description for this page that you see right here and what i like to do is just always reflect back to some of these favorite prompts that I have and so link in my description and on the right hand side underneath featured YouTube video prompts there's actually a prompt called Leonardo AI Alchemy Master if you open up and expand that I actually have some good cameras in here already listed so right here where it says example cameras to use are Nikon D850 or Canon EOS R6 Mark II. So let's just say I go ahead and copy and paste this Nikon D850 camera right here. I'll go ahead and just copy this and then now come back over here to ChatGPT and I'll just paste it over here to where it says type of camera and then here it is on the right hand side Nikon D850. Perfect. And so what type of camera lens? I'll do the same thing. 70, 35, 85, 135, etc. Let's just go with something that's closest and I'll just go ahead and select 70 millimeter and then what type of day is it? I'll just put dusk and then notice my prompt right here. It says please create 10 mid journey photographs prompts for a photorealistic image of a tiger that's described with the following keywords powerful large with a Nikon D850 camera 70 millimeter lens at dusk and so I did forget to mention the camera lens aperture so let's go back to the right hand side and actually choose this okay so we'll go ahead and we'll just go ahead and select f11 now in my prompt where this was once a blank bracketed text now it says lens at a f11 aperture at dusk hit enter and see what happens so now immediately it's generating 10 prompts that I can use for Midjourney or Leonardo AI. So why don't we take some of these prompts and then test them out in Midjourney and Leonardo AI very quickly just to see how good of a job it actually did for us. Okay, so pretty cool. Now check this one out. This is the first one I entered in the Midjourney. Here's the exact one I entered right here. So the first one I tried was the one called Stealth and Twilight. Captured a tiger slinking through tall grass, partially hidden yet clearly powerful. Pretty cool. So now going back over here to Midjourney, you can see it did exactly that. I'll open it up. Now check this out. This looks very good. This basically describes the exact same prompt I was wanting to use and this prompt made a very photorealistic tiger if I do say so myself. Now with that said, let's go over to Leonardo AI and see what this did for us. This was made in Leonardo AI in Leonardo Diffusion with the Alchemy Photography preset. You could see this also did a pretty good job in Leonardo AI. And then I just tried one more. I tried the Hunter's Profile. The tiger is mid-step, muscle straining as it prowls through its natural habitat. And as we come over here to Leonardo AI, you could see these three images generated for me with the fine-tuned model RPG 4.0 and photography preset and coming over here into mid journey this one looks quite impressive as well check this out this looks very good so both of these prompts worked out quite well and really did generate a photorealistic image for me in prompt storm with the mid journey prompt generator now the next one i want to show you is pretty cool only because i was pretty impressed and it is more of an entertainment type prompt and so whenever you need a busy break from your time or all of the hard work you're doing or whatever you're doing throughout the day and just want a quick break or something to kind of take your mind off something that's where this next option comes in in prompt storm let's select on the right hand side let's go down to entertainment okay select a subcategory now this is pretty cool let's go ahead and play a game with chat GPT so we have entertainment gaming and select prompt let's play a game now it's gonna ask you what game do you want to play okay how about something simple like tic-tac-toe and then just like that look there's a prompt at the very bottom it is pretty simple but for the most part I actually didn't know that you could do this with chat GPT I'll use X and you will use O the board is set up like this okay each number represents a space on the board and it's your term just tell me the number of the space you want to put your O so chat GPT went first I'll go ahead and go with the next one I'll choose the one in the middle by simply selecting the number five it corresponds with this middle square right here and I'll check this out now it recreates the new board and now it puts the X where ChatGPT went and the O where I went. And like I said, there's so many cool things that you could actually do with Prompt Storm. I can't go through all of them, but let me just show you one more pretty cool thing, and that's gonna be a content writer. So go back to categories, and underneath category, right here at the very bottom, your last option is called writing. Click on writing, and then after you do that, click select your subcategory, and it's gonna be 
content writing. And now you can see all the other options. You have content writing, copywriting, creative writing, fact checking, etc. So we can select content writing and then choose a specific prompt and then look at all these options that show up. It's incredible. If I just choose any of these options, it auto fills it within the search box at the bottom of ChatGPT. And I can basically create endless possibilities of prompts to generate blog posts or anything else I want. So if I wanted to do tweet writing, I could, I could select tweet writing or YouTube script writing. So let's try that. Let's try YouTube script script writing. And so over here, I'm going to say how many items Let's just go with three. You can see the prompt so far says, please write me a three minute script. That's pretty cool. And I'll type in the topic and I'll just say chat GPT prompts. So once we have this filled out, it's important. You want to do this review your actual prompt down here in the search bar. Please write me a three minutes YouTube script about chat GPT prompts. Okay, well, let's just leave it at three minutes and see what this comes up with. I'll hit enter and then let's just see what happens. Now check this out. This is pretty cool. It's going right to it. It shows me the opening slide, the words chat GPT prompts, how to unleash the power of AI appear on a vibrant digital background. The upbeat music fades. So I like how it actually gives me the bracketed text, the upbeat music face. So then here's the host. Hello there, folks. Welcome back to our channel. Pretty cool. Slide transition to the image of ChatGPT interface. It gives me the host, the speaker of everything I'm going to say in quotation marks. And then it gives me a corresponding slide of what it should look like on my in my video. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed by this one. So basically, I just wanted to show you guys that there are a plethora of options to choose from. You can essentially become a prompt engineer yourself utilizing Prompt Storm as your personal prompt sidekick. Now, as a summary, again, like I'll show you before, just open up the categories and then just go down through everything. And even if I go back to writing, you could see there are just so many different options to choose from. Even going back into marketing, you have advertising, analytics and stats, branding, content marketing, etc., digital marketing. And then you could just see over here, it says, you know, ebook idea generator or give me ideas for blog posts. Give me YouTube video ideas, infographic ideas all of these certain things. So if you've never really known what to use as far as a beginner type prompt or where to even start for creating some prompts for chat GPT, this is the perfect tool because you can use it completely for free. Just go through it, select the type of ideas you're looking for, and then it automatically generates the prompts for you directly underneath in ChatGPT itself. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these types of videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. We'll